people in. Bob, you want to tell them to come in? I know. Yeah. All the smart people got to sit down. <laughs> they came in, huh? This is only for the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I told him loud. Wow, you're loud. We don't really need it, but he's we'll just try it. So, yeah. Actually, I'm being recorded now, right? Each day went to the gym, so today would be like a little bit like I'm, you know. I ran last night too. Had to get it out. Yeah. I didn't have to worry about the owner's spots and the other director spot. No, because we got cars up there. Yeah, don't worry about yes the Yeah, yeah. No, go ahead. So I can use it. anything you need to do. Hey, Joe. The only thing I do is you got to keep. No, no. I know the clear. Keep, yeah, coming in. So. DJ Steiner? I know. DJ Steiner? We need to get you two laptops. <laughs> I miss Ingrid. I know. Well, we're, we're scouting out for another one, so. That, that's the number one recruiting job right now. Is that he said he misses Ingrid. At his <laughs> I might just bring in a spokes bottle, like. <laughs> just hang out. You're just, your job is to smile. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So, so Sharp comes up and says, we're missing one thing at these meetings, Ingrid. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking that, uh, well, Shabon should get Sharp. What? Who's doing it? Oh, it, all right, I thought, okay. So why don't you announce? You good? And you, you figure it out. I'll let you know we're going to play and you're the one that's going to announce. Is everybody in? needs to be in to shut the door when uh, when everybody's in so all right the door is shut all right here we go so thank you everybody for coming waking up early who woke up before like five good morning. okay good hang on who woke up before 4 30 oh how about four 3.30? All right, good, so. All right, so there's some people that have been up for a while, they should be the loudest, but at the end of the day, good morning. Good morning! One more time, good morning! Good morning. All right, there we go, awesome. So, um, it's been a little crazy, right? And uh, I gotta tell you, I don't know if you can tell, I'm like super excited, and I'm not sure if you've seen the last few weeks, I've been thinking about this moment for a long time, and um, at the end of the day, all I could keep thinking is excitement, excitement. But I really um, couldn't figure out why, right? So it's funny, it hit me on a drive over that um, I was excited 
because I had this feeling, you know, deep down inside. I had it one other time in my life. Now, it's not like excitement when you have a kid or buy a house. Um, I thought about it, and it's commitment, right? So I had, a, I had one other time in my life I made the same kind of commitment to somebody, and that was when I asked my wife to marry me. So at the end of the day, today, I'm asking you guys for commitment to me, and I'm committing myself to you guys, all right? And where's your ring? I love you all, you know that. So at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's the same level. It's our lives, right? So the last time I stood here, I was worried what's going to happen. And the only thing I was really confident about was you guys, right? Because we're, who are we? Right? We're gold medal, right? And all these questions were coming up, right? So are we going to, Pat, you had the best one. Are we going to wear orange booties? He, he did that. that. That came a week before I even got up on stage. So you guys knew shit and way before things were happening. You guys are smart, right? So the whole time now I'm thinking I can't, you know, I, I couldn't, I had to sign a paper. You know, you don't understand how hard that was, right? But when I got up here and talked, I'm thinking I told Mike and Rob, I said, they ain't going to listen to one goddamn word I say because they're all knowing what the hell's happening. So, so it was really tough. But today I feel um, coming up here um, relieved, refreshed. And again, I just want to commit myself to you guys at the end of the day and uh, let you know the last few weeks, all I've been doing, when you don't see me here, I'm fighting and fighting to keep what we built the way we want it, and I'm fighting and fighting for them to help us take it to the next level. So at the end of this meeting, you're gonna see things that we're doing to do just that, okay? So, I wanna talk a little bit about some things, and actually, um, we're missing one other person, so I'm gonna have um, Sarah actually read an email I got yesterday. So Dave Geiger, um, I gotta tell you, from day one, I've known him for years, Great guy, but the last few months I've got to know him. The, my opinion of him mattered a lot, right? But at the end of the day, the people I've met through the, through the different branches and all in the company, the way they talk about this guy is just amazing. So I just want you to know, you know, at the end of the day, that's who I go to, okay? And that's the guy that's going to protect us above my head, right? So he really wanted to be here today, but part of what he's doing is getting us some money to do what we gotta do for next year and blow the budget apart. So if you wanna read the, uh, the email, Sarah. Yeah. As I said when we talked, I'm disappointed I can't make the gold medal team meeting because of scheduling conflict. I just wanna say how excited I am for gold medal's future and the team, and the team doing the right things, and we will more than double the business in three years. It's not the revenue I get excited about, it's the opportunities for team members and the life change that gets me excited. It's the little improvements day in and day out that compound over time that builds great companies and your team is making that happen. Thank you for all your team's hard work day in and day, na day out. Dave Geiger. Awesome. So again, he wishes he can be here. I'm gonna call him at the end of the day and let him know what's happening. If you can't tell, there's a big video camera in the back here. So there's a couple reasons for that. Um, one, I kind of wanted the meeting um, documented, and then also, um, who's been in higher nights before or seen a couple of the videos about core values and stuff? They're a little old, a couple people we don't like anymore are still in that video. So uh, we're gonna have a few people hang back today, and, um, and then Greg, who's Greg, I think you're in the back there, Greg, yeah. somewhere? Oh, right here, Greg. You've seen him around, he's a familiar face, he's a friend, friend of mine, friend of Gold Medal. So he's gonna be asking some questions and things like that, and, and hopefully by the end of the day we get a nice video put together that we can take, again, ours into the next level. So, so let's talk about um, things that are happening. Has anybody gone in and seen the new um, training room being built? Couple people, cool. So that's happening, okay? So now what we did is we took it to the next level. Um, they require, and Anthony knows all about this, they require permits and now they're busting my balls for drawings, right? So I had an architect here yesterday, he's drawing that out, we're gonna have a full-blown training center. Who's been down to uh, Mount Laurel? Okay, so you've seen what they have down there, right? So I wanted that here. 
So we're going to have um, full blown all the equipment we install, plumbing stuff, heating and air conditioning. We're going to have electrical in there. Um, and it's going to be a whole new level of training for us. So that's happening. And then I'm coupling it with um, everybody in the office. Do we have enough offices? No. no, shake your head, say no, right? So we're expanding, right? So I'm going to take part of that area in the back there with the mezzanine, and we're going to make a two-story office uh, space for us too, so, and a, small, um, a smaller conference room, training room. So, um, Tool co-op, the tool co-op is coming. Uh, Bobby, I think you're pretty much done, right? And, and Hodge, you got it. And we're working with uh, Sharp to create a new custom list. So all those tools we always, through the years, ask you to buy. All of a sudden, you know, some of them tools are what? Thousand bucks, two thousand bucks at the end of the day. So um, what we're doing is we're creating a program that was modeled after what Horizon uses to um, help with that. So you guys are going to be able to get the tools you need. Guys starting out going to be able to get the tools they need without dumping a bunch of money out of their pocket. We're actually going to cover half the cost on most of the big tools. Some of the tools we're going to pay for the whole thing. And then the other half of the cost, you guys get to pay throughout a whole year. Um, so it's, it's easier on, on your pockets. And uh, as we go through and need more tools, I, you know it's getting more and more uh, electronics and all that, especially the HVAC guys. Um, and um, the plumbers with cameras and all, so we're going to help you guys get that. And we realize that's something really important. So, um, another big announcement: Joe Austin and I are thinking uh, or uh, doing um, within the next uh, couple weeks. We're going to shift our, all of our warehouse guys' schedules, guys and girls. Right? Where's the Annika here? Everybody say hi to Annika. <laughs> so a lot of new faces. I'm not going to introduce everybody today, but make sure you guys talk with each other and introduce yourself. So, so here's one idea I came up with. Um, what, who's our next future techs and our future leaders in the company? People start out in a warehouse, they need a chance to get out there, right? So we're going to take one day out of their work week and take that instead of you working in the warehouse, you're gonna have an opportunity to go out in the field with one of the trainers and be able to start learning um, the field you wanna go into. So I think that's awesome and um, you guys will have a great chance to start. And uh, coupled with the training center, we're gonna be able to, I, I kinda call it like farm, right? It's really hard to find people that have been doing it a long time that want to make a big move and come to a big company like this. So I feel in the future for us to be a successful company and grow, we're going to have to help grow our people here. And really at the end of the day, when this is all done, anybody that uh, does anything here can turn around and become any position in this company. So we feel really strongly about that. And that's something in my heart that I want to do. Um, we're repositioning some people in the office. If you guys haven't noticed, the CSRs now are out in the bigger area. Um, that's going to be because we're, we're expanding. I don't know if you've seen how cramped they were in there. They're sharing desks and things like that. And it gives Sarah a chance to run that department independent. And uh, you can see it kind of quieted down. Um, we put outbound in there so they have their own area that they can do. And it's kind of cool because outbound and dispatch really talk with each other all the time. So, and uh, when they need calls. So, you need, Steph, you good? Is it, is that, somebody check that thermostat there. Okay. It's hot. I'm, I'm hot. I'm sweating too. So I'm sorry. We'll get, we'll get you out of here in a little bit. So, all right. Um, so what I want to do now, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, I want to mention one thing. So another couple changes we made. Um, Jim Tarnofsky. So Jim, um, it, it, we, we've been talking for a few months. And um, we knew there was going to come a time where he was at a point where he was going to have to go to somewhere where he was going to be better off and, and be more improved in his skills. Because the skills he had um, for here, really at the end of the day, he needed to get us through this transition. But in the future, they didn't really need, we, we don't need that type. He's a high level attorney. He ran, uh, helped run construction companies, big law stuff. Um, we have some things like that here already. So um, he's actually, and I'm, I'm sad because he's a friend of mine. We've been through war together. We bled together. Um, I've known him for six years. I know his children. Jamie still works here, um, I, his wife. 
But uh, at the end of the day, we decided he has a lot more opportunity to do what he needs to do in a private practice. So, Jim, you will see him if you guys get a chance. Some of you guys had a chance to talk with him yesterday. Um, you'll be seeing him in and out for the next couple months. But it'd be nice if you guys send him a little message today and uh, thank him. Um, he did a lot of things here. And uh, I'm going to miss him, but he, I can still call him a friend. And uh, he's not too far from here. And, and we're, we're always going to stay lunch buddies. Uh, so um, he's always been that guy for me, too. So. All right, so next thing I want to do is I want to bring up um, Steve Klotz. Steve, come on up. So most of you guys have met Steve. Steve comes, now again, we want to make improvements, right? Steve comes here with a wealth of knowledge. He had a construction business. Um, he started out as a comfort advisor in Horizon about five years ago, moved his way up into sales management, and then they gave him a brand new branch in New Jersey, and he took the South Jersey branch from... 13 million to 30 million in 27 months. Just HVAC sales in 27 months. So all the installers should be like, it's like incredible, right? So, um, so I just want him to say a couple words. There's been some exciting things he's brought to the table here too. And uh, we're really excited about the growth opportunities. Right. So one of the things first I want you to understand, uh, Joe said that I, you know, was in South Jersey and I took it from 11 million to 30 million. I wish I could take all the credit, but I really can't take any of it, to be honest with you. The people that took it to 30 million dollars were the people that worked there. So when I was asked to come up here, my first thing was commitment, right? Joe talked about commitment. I needed to have commitment. So the first person I needed to have commitment from was him. All right? I had met Joe probably a month before I was asked to come up here, maybe a month and a half, and we got along really well. Right? When they asked me to come up here, Joe and I had a meeting, and we talked about commitment. Right? And he asked me one thing. He said, do you think that you could come up to gold metal and paint the town gold? I said, I could certainly try. But here was the key. I needed commitment. I needed commitment from the sales force, I needed commitment from the tax, and I needed commitment from every single person that is in this room. And without that commitment, we will not grow. Now here's the best part. The first month, right, Joe told me he was worried about September, worried about September. And we pushed, and we pushed, the tax brought in, right, the salesman started selling, Everybody had to be committed to what they were doing, and we were above budget in September, all right? And that is because of everyone in this room, right? Right now, I was just seeing the sales force. I was seeing the text. It's going to go further. One of the things I'm going to bring up here is the spiffs, right? The spiffs that everybody does their job and does a great job, you're going to get spiffed, right? You're going to make more money. So when Joe talks about opportunity, and the way this place is growing and the opportunities that are going to be here is for every single person in this room. And I want you to understand that. Even if you stay in the same role that you're at right now, I can promise you, you have the chance to make more money. And listen, I can paint this town gold, but I'd like to bring some green with it. <laughs> right? And the green goes to you. So all I'm asking for you to do is have commitment to the company like you have. I can tell you I am truly honored and blessed of what I've seen here in the first month. I really am. The people that have come out and supported everything that I've asked for and have done the job that I've asked is unbelievable. And it starts with you. I've come and coming to the managers and I've asked them to step up their game. They've done it. Again, they could not have done it without you. So I want to thank everybody in this room, first of all, for the love that you've shown me in the first month, and it's going to continue, because who asked if we're, if we're going to wear orange booties? I had to get rid of so much orange and blue shit <laughs> in my house, right, because I just wanted it out of my way. I don't want to think orange and blue. We're going to be gold, right? We're going to remain gold, and we're going to grow as gold. And I can promise you, all right, with your commitment, this town's going to be painted gold. So as long as everybody's in, I'm ready to go, and I hope every one of you That's are. That's awesome. So thank you. Yeah. I'm bring up, uh... So 
first person I'm going to bring up is Bobby, okay? And I'm going to tell you something. Bobby has turned up the game, right? Hell yeah. It's all about turning up the game. We do this thing called interest rate. And interest rate is how the tax can turn over leads. It's so funny. When I first started with Bobby, he's like, oh, you know, I'm not. Then all of a sudden, he turned over a few leads. And he said he turned over three or four leads. And I said, okay, today's five. He come running into my office. He goes, I got six. Right? Now it's getting a little, you know, I don't know, like hard on me. Because he comes running into my office. He says, I turned over 20 leads. How many are you selling? <laughs> I said, what was that part of the thing, right? But here's the great part. The other day we turned over eight leads. And we sold eight jobs in the same day. That's commitment. Again, like I said, it has nothing to do with me. Bobby brought into the program. That's why we're bringing him up. Let him say a few words for you. Great job, Bobby. Yes, absolutely. Um, all I can say is I'm honestly excited. Uh, like Steve said, the commitment um, from everyone. My team has been doing an awesome job. And it really came down to what we needed in the beginning, which was training. Um, and my team's been getting it. So I'm very excited for the new training facility we're going to get here. Um, everyone that's buying into you know, the, um, our new practices and everything that's to come, you know, all I can say is I'm, I'm excited for everyone in this room. I see the growth myself, and we're going to kick ass in uh, three years. So oh, yeah. we're just going to keep growing. So thank you, everyone, and you know, let's do this. It's okay. mentioned that uh, it's touching over the plumbing in April. Um, we are down 120000 beyond budget. And as of Monday, we are up 130. So that's a quarter million dollar switch. So with this tough transition that we had from April to now, it's a, it's a really good job. So for the plumbers and drain cleaners, I really appreciate you guys sticking with it. Um, this fall, we have water software classes coming next to Mike and Pete Bologna. Uh We have the main water shutoffs that are done by Leaf Smart, which is really good. I was pushed to that new wave of uh, Z-Wave using the sensors, and you can show off by your phone by using the smart, uh, Leaf Smart app. <laughs> and the uh, final thing is, with the help of Steve Cozo, uh, to separate a little bit the plumbers and the drain division, Steve has a process going with drain cleaners to improve uh, the leads that we get from the uh, supervisors and some of the digs like Barry. So with that transition, I think we're going to have a uh, very promising 2018. Next guys. Sure. I didn't need the railings. Get down for being old. Get down for being electric. <laughs> electric guys, the leaguer bunch. You've been working your asses off. You've been buying into the concept. We're looking to add some spiffs. We've added some uh, new technology with the Nest and the Lutron stuff. We're putting together some programs that will include some spiffs. Uh, I thank you guys. You've been running all over the state, driving your butts off, because there's only 10 of you, and we cover the same amount that all the other guys do. Uh, we are different because Horizon doesn't have an electric division, but they are starting one because Matt Lowe's years is no longer with us. He's with Horizon starting to build their electric yeah so i appreciate you guys efforts i appreciate the work you're putting into it hopefully the drive it'll get a little easier but thank you for everything you're doing and we're going to kick some ass uh, in the next year yeah. so one of the things you keep hearing up here is processes and things and change and everything right so when i came here there, everyone thought, oh, it's going to be this big change. It's not a big change, right? What we're doing is tweaking processes. The best part about it is what I had to tweak was very small, and there were a lot of processes in place here that were better than what Horizon was using, and there are some of the things that we're taking and giving back to Horizon. All right? Uh, one of the things that has happened, we've separated our territories, and now we're gold medal and they're Horizon. And Joe called me the other day, and uh, he was on a video conference with, I guess, the executive team, and he asked me for a number. Why, well, yes, right? Because I'm a salesman. I don't answer the question without knowing what the question's about. So I said, why did you ask? He goes, because I want to know if we're kicking their ass. Right? 
And I said, guess what, Joe? With us both and this team, we're kicking their ass. And we right? are. And we are. <laughs> All of our numbers kick their ass in September. That's awesome. Right? That's, come on. Everybody has to buy in processes. There may be little changes here and there. Keep an open mind, all right? Keep an open mind because I can promise you one thing, all right? We're going to grow this. You think, who said it was hot in here, Steph? Were you said it was hot. It's still hot back there? Yeah, it's still hot? Well, guess what? I got, I got a couple promises for you. The meeting next year, we're going to need a bigger room. Yeah. Okay? A lot bigger because I can promise you this is going to grow right that's a promise and a commitment that Joe and I have to each one of you and I can promise you the commitment is for each one of you to grow that goes Absolutely. with the training the training center everything the guys that came back from the training in Jersey who, who's all been down to Jersey training down okay good um, just so you understand the guys that have come back from that have done said nothing but great things now we're going to bring it here yeah. Right. Now we're going to bring it here and make it our own. We make it cold. So I just want to thank everybody again. And again, Joe, thanks for your commitment. Thanks, man. And let Joe uh, take us out and tell us what else is going on. Gotcha. Thanks, thanks Steve. So um, at the end of the day, the, the level of opportunity we talked about, it's already starting. Um, I want to mention the mentor group. Okay. What we're doing now is we're positioning guys that are the best of the best in the leadership roles in each department. And we have another big thing going on is obviously, like I said before, the training and all, and we have apprentices that want to come up and, and do it, right? They want to be the guy in the truck, right? So Paul Miller is helping out. He came, where is Paul? Oh, they're right here. Okay, I missed you. <laughs> so, Paul Miller, he came through the ranks. He started out and he worked his way up and now he's one of the top guys continually giving customer satisfaction and making money and, and doing great. So we felt that um, it gets lonely out there in this big sea and like Steve said, it's gonna get bigger. So we don't want anybody lost or anybody left behind. So Paul's working with the service manager and myself to help with that. We got Pete Malone, is Pete Malone here? I haven't seen him yet. Pete, there you are in the back. So Pete, we have an opportunity with the water division to go to a whole other level. We basically, Pete, what do we, triple since last year almost, right? So Pete's been meeting with the Novo guys and really strategizing. He's putting some things together. Mike Jackson, obviously, is the expert water guy. He's working with him to make sure we're building that division. Um, we have Jeff. Jeff's going to oversee the whole mentor program. The cool thing about the mentor program basically is um, it's an amazing thing and nobody else is really doing it, right? So we learn together in our meetings about how um, people really would look for a mentor in a lot of cases out there, you know? We have managers here, but, you know, I used to be out in the field. I remember those days, but, you know, it's still, I'm in, I'm in a different environment now. These guys are in a different environment. It's nice that you guys can have somebody out there in that same environment and know what it's like. Because at the end of the day, it's a tough job we're asking you to do but we're doing it incredibly, right? So did I, I didn't miss anybody yet? Was it, oh, Jackson. Jackson is gonna be doing more on the training side. So we got this big training room coming. We have um, all these programs I'm talking about, guys getting into trucks and all, so, and girls getting into trucks too. I'm so excited, Annika. So, um, so Jackson's gonna make sure we're putting programs together on a higher level. Um, he's still gonna kick some ass and do what he's gotta do out in the field, but I have him working with the guy down in Mount Laurel, who's a genius HVAC guy, um, and um, we're bringing those things in here too. So. Um, so again, more opportunity for everybody as we grow, and obviously the, the different departments in the office is just gonna get bigger and bigger, and leadership and leadership, we're gonna need more and more stuff. All right, so let's live it up. I can see we've been talking a lot. So what we want to do is bring in, you have the music? And thank you, and everybody give uh, DJ Steiner. <laughs> let's give her a hand. I'm going to get her two laptops next time so she can start mixing and shit. So, so we're going to play a little game now. It's called Game of Thrones.
So Mike is going to describe actually. <laughs> the things he does for us. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Jeff, Chris, Crafty, Crafty. Um, the service managers. Oh, no, no, the guys, the guys, yep. That's what you get for standing in the back, Pete. <laughs> so what we're playing is Game of the Thrones. What we did... Uh, <laughs> it's a free toilet park. Sorry, I can't see shit. That's all right. <laughs> it's a free toilet park. They're all the exact same way. These guys have the tools that they would normally use to assemble toilets. The best part is, there's three names on these three pieces of paper. There's three guys that sit in front of a desk out there. Yes. Uh, they're randomly going to pick one of these. They're going to put it together, they're going to tell them how. The twist to that, the twist to that, they're blindfolded. Oh. <laughs> Gentlemen, choose your anchor. Hey. <laughs> sorry. We won't put a time limit. So, go ahead, I'm sorry. What we're going to do is whoever's done first and it's done properly, they win. And then Joe will give them some sort of enjoyment prize. They're going to get 100 bucks each. There you go. All right. Guys, there's no trading. Read off the names of the people you have. Delgado. Mr. Sharp. Yeah, one for the plumber, one for the service manager. So the winning team gets one, one each. <laughs> what, being blindfolded in front of a bunch of men? <laughs> Edit that. Cole is now going to blindfold the three guys. This is awesome. <laughs> I see it, Cole. <laughs> Is that where they're from? <laughs> Tell you, the other part of the winner is going to get to ride in a truck with you guys, too, to do one for real. <laughs> You better spread them out, Jackson. Hey, listen. <laughs> I just want to see if they get choked out by one of the plumbers. <laughs> do you have a... Uh, Put it on. Yeah, you want to give it to me? I'm going to do that next. Oh, is it here? Okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's all right. Put it on. Again, Joe. Joe, preempt. Are you guys ready? No. Somebody want to time it? You want to time it? Bill. Go. Jeff, you're cheating. Yeah, got it. Are right, you? I'll call you for time. This is awesome. <laughs>
the stem so you can wash her. Put that on the bottom of the cell and then use the large and probably the Holiday party pictures. You guys want to come up and cheer them on? Come on up. Is there a fashion Let's hear it for them. Come on, Can train somebody to be technical. I can't train somebody to be a nice person. So that's that's where you'd have an edge. So absolutely. I'm so excited too about Annika because women listen more than men. So if, if men like I love to talk. If I just shut up, I'd probably get more out of life. <laughs> you know? so, and the customers trust the more. Sharp's taking the lead! Come on, let's go! <laughs> this is awesome. So cue up the video. I'm gonna I'm gonna start talking and we'll play the video. So, I'm glad this is so great. Like, in the beginning, a little bit um, somber. Yeah. And, and then you'll go into it and just... Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah, well, I mean, the whole the whole meeting so far has kind of been, like, somber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Remember, you're judging. Don't say nothing to the end. You, you, if they think they're done, no. Is he looking? Keep your nose down, Pete. <laughs> Sharks going, man. Look at him go. Come on, guys. Let's cheer him on. He's a prick for fucking that kind of details. That's why I put him in the car. Five minutes! Let's go! Is this me still? Yeah. I'm going to yell out after this the first person that sells a toilet, that books a toilet call gets a hundred bucks. How's that? Each one. Sharp. Sharp's in the lead! He does, he does work on his BMW all the time. He's, he's pretty mechanical. 
Don't tell me the electrical manager's gonna win the plumbing challenge. It's a girder, which means that those hooks go in between the tank and then the other set holds the tank to the Oh. So, you know what? Let him know. That way, yeah, yeah. Alright, guys, just to let you know you're doing a girder. So it would leak. Uh oh. <laughs> Jackson, if they all did it, we're okay. If one of them did it. If they're all doing the same, it's okay. I figured I'm only one. It's okay. All right, coming down to the wire. Let's cheer them on. Where's the gift cards? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we're going out to lunch later. <laughs> Let's see! Seven minutes! Woo! We got a winner! Seven minutes flat! That's awesome! We got a winner! That's for you guys! Wow! We got, we got the winner today! Woo! The Game of Thrones Champions! Awesome job, guys. That was great. Anybody want to come use it? Sit on it. Yeah. Let's get a picture of you sitting on it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, no, not bad at all. I didn't know there was a full out. That's all right. It was a challenge. All right, awesome. So let's hear it for Sharp and Pete. And, and let's hear it, let's hear it for Jackson and the rest of the guys. That ain't easy. You did, hey, you did a not so crappy job. <laughs> All right. So, just so the HVAC and the electricians know, I got a couple more challenges coming up for the next couple weekends. And then we're talking about maybe doing an office Olympics too for the office people. So we'll do some cool shit. So, so we're not going to leave you out. I, I'm a master plumber, so I had to start with plumbing, right? So, so all right. Now, um, again, that was pretty cool, right? You guys enjoyed that? It was fun. So, all right. Nobody got hurt. We were going to let Siobhan, we were going to let Siobhan do shark, but I figured we'd all be in a lot of trouble. And poor shark, probably be choked to death. So, <laughs> all right. So here's what I want to do. Uh, I want to do next. So one thing I've always liked um, and thought about was recognizing somebody, um, and I want to do something special each month for somebody in the company. Um, we all work hard, right? We all perform. But at the end of the day, I want to um, recognize somebody who I feel that deep down in their heart they really bleed the gold. They bleed the company, um, and. I'm going to have you guys pick from here on out, but this is the captain's pick, the first one. So um, somebody that I picked, and the reason why I picked him, um, he's here in the morning. He's the last one almost out every day. He's always there. When I need, some, when I need something, anytime, Sunday, Saturdays, Christmas, whatever it is, I can always go to him. Uh, not to say I can't go to anybody else, but this guy, at the end of the day, He's been through a lot with me. We've been through, when I talked about Jim and me going through wars, Mike was right there with us going through some wars, right? I'll never forget the Jim Ham. I won't mention it, but the Jim Hamilton days. So we took, we took some good beatings, man. We got some good uh, callous on our hands. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's our time, not this time. So, so at the end of the day, I wanted to recognize him. But before I bring you up, Sarah had a little video to kind of explain how Shark day. This is kind of how sharks, for everybody that's in the field, I know you guys talk to them all day over the phone, but if, this is how his day usually goes. So. Sometimes, uh, what, what would you say? What you do in a tech is you take the specifications from the customers 
similarities than a lot of people do to the software engineer. Yes, yes. He's yes. kind of blown them away a little bit. Just so that he's like, he's going to get a brand. I want to say something. I'm going to change a little bit. To the software people, huh? Well, I'll tell you why. Because engineers are not good at dealing with customers. So you physically take the specs from the customer? Well, <laughs> no, my secretary does that. Oh, they're facts. So then you must physically bring it to the software people. Where? <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, sometimes. Uh, what, what would you say you do here? <laughs> well, look, I already told you. I deal with the goddamn customers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on up, Shark. So, uh, <laughs> so that's pretty much how it went with Jim Hamilton. <laughs> so, here's what I want to do. Um, so we got some parking spot issues here, right? So um, to me, it, it took me 10 years to get a parking spot in this company. So I feel as one of the, one of the prizes you get for being employee of the month is gonna be a parking spot. So, and it's gonna be fitting, because you do own your position, you do own the way you do things here every day, and you own it in life, right? So, and I know you, you do whatever you gotta do for these guys. So, it's, it says, it says owner, it says owner right now. I'm going to keep it owner for the rest of this month for him. And then we're going to have a, 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 a uh, yeah, <laughs> he does. He walks around here. All right. That's good. So, and one other thing I want to, uh, I want to give you, here's 500 bucks. I want, you to, I want you to take this up and do something nice with your wife and kids. So, all right. So, so the next time we do this, all right. The way we're going to do it is going to be real simple. You guys can send me an email and just let me know and just put in the header employee of the month and nominate somebody and why, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a committee that's going to turn around and read these and we're going to pick the one that fits it and we're going to keep the prize same. You're going to get a parking spot and you're going to get 500 bucks. If you take your truck home, you don't have a parking spot, we'll do a kicker on top of that for you, okay? Maybe we'll just leave it open for you anyway, so everybody knows, right? So, appreciate it. So, um, I want to bring up, is Nicole Montanelli here? Where is she at? Stand up, Nicole. <laughs> I'm kidding. She'll kick my ass. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> All right, come on up, Nicole. And Sarah, you're already up here. So we got some really cool announcements to tell you about. I'm going to let them share it with you. I hate this. I hate this. I love this guy. All right. I'll start, and then Paul's going to finish with the uh, most exciting news. But first off, we're going to be planning a lot, a lot, a lot of fun events for us to do things. Um, we did Six Flags, which was fun for everyone. We're going to try and do that um, every year, do something like that. We are going to be coming up on um, Halloween. We've got Chris, uh, Halloween party coming up. It's going to be October 27th. We're going to send out you know, some more info and email. But uh, it's going to be what time? Six? Six to ten. Six to ten. Bring your kids. It's, there's going to be fun things to do for both the adults and the kids. So we're going to have fun. That will be one of the first events that we're kicking off. Um, we're also planning, and we don't know the timing on it, but we're going to do a fishing trip next year. Probably or spring, striper season. Um, and then probably in the summer sometime, we're going to do a Mammoth Park uh, day. Day at the track. Where's Disney? Area. In the back there. Mammoth Park, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're going to wrap it out. We'll have tons of fun events throughout the year. And Nicole has most fun, exciting events. <laughs> so we're having a holiday party this year. It's going to be January 20th. I already booked the venue, and it's going to be from 7 to 11 at the Hilton in East Brunswick, right um, by the towers. So everybody better come. That's awesome, guys.
Yeah. So holiday party's back, right? So, so um, a little side note, and this is between us. We'll edit this part. Um, we we got a killer spot, and we're spending more than we ever spent before. So um, Nicole and Sarah are going nuts. It's it's great, and uh, you're, it's all worth it. We it's a great time. You know, um, I love the kids, but we need a little adult time too. I will promise not to fall on the floor or down any stairs this year. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, keep me out of the men's room after a certain hour if there's anybody mopping up in there too. So, that was ugly. So, but um, so anyway, I, I thought that'd be great news for you guys. We're gonna do it after the holiday. I feel before the holiday, a lot of people couldn't make it because of commitments with family and things. And and at the end of the day, you guys. It's about the family, right? Our family here and our family at home too. So we wanted to try to make it, and I'm hoping that everybody here is at that party. So it's going to be a really great time. So um, Steve was going to have a couple more words about some expansion, and then I'm going to get you out of here in about 10 minutes. I got a little more excitement for you too. So, so I'll, I'll just touch you real quick on the party. So Nicole and Sarah. Uh, we went out to lunch, and just the excitement that they had to do this party was awesome. So yeah. I'm really looking forward to the party just from your excitement. So thank you for handling that, and believe me, it'll be a great party if it's in their hands. So thank you. So everybody hears about change and change and change, and you know we're not sure if change is good. I can promise you, everybody in this room, change is good. One of the things that Horizon and Sun Capital can do very well is expand. All right. What I will tell you, when Gold Medal, before I was up here, I asked Dave Geiger and uh, Joe asked me uh, about Dave Geiger, probably was one of the first things he had asked me. Dave Geiger's not much older than me, but he's really treated me like a son. So I know that commitment's there. So Dave Geiger came and told me why he was buying Gold Medal. This was before I was even coming to Gold Medal. And he said their culture might be better than ours. Might. It right? is. <laughs> I, said, I said, that's awesome, right? Because he goes, that's why, and he's the one that goes out and looks at businesses all the time to buy them. And he said, their culture might be better than ours. So he called me after I was up here for about two weeks. Of course, he waited because the first week my head was about to explode. And after two weeks, he called me. He said, what do you think? I said, I think you used the wrong word, Dave, and I'm sorry to tell you, but the culture is better than yours. Right? Absolutely. And he's like, right now is looking for a place right where as we're growing we can't just go out of this this uh, location so we have to go to another location we have to get bigger so what he wants to do is re not rebrand but brand this okay and take it up north so we're going to buy a location up north I don't know when it's going to happen I heard they're looking which as everyone in this room knows it could be quick Right? I don't, I don't, it's gonna be I don't pretty think quick. Joe has proved any of that information. I got a little bit. Right? But we, <laughs> it's know, it's coming. we know it's coming. <laughs> and guess what? It's going to be, whatever the company is that we buy, okay, is not going to remain that company like this. It's going to be turned into gold metal. Right? Yeah. And the reason it's going to be turned into gold metal is because, again, each one of you and what you have shown you can do day in and day out. So let's continue to do that. Like I said, opportunity is going to present itself. All right, not just here, but as we grow. And we are going to grow up into the north, and then guess what? There's one little thing that they told me when I went to South Jersey, and I, I, I don't like to keep bringing up Horizon, but they told me South Jersey would never be the flagship of Horizon. Well, I proved them wrong, right? And it wasn't me, again, it was everybody there. We took that, and this year, probably South Jersey will be the flagship of Horizon. Well. I don't know that everybody in this room that knows me will know one thing. I don't like to lose, right? Absolutely. I don't like to lose. And I have lost in my lifetime, but I don't like to lose. We're going to be the flagship of New oh, yeah. Jersey. Gold Medal is going to be the flagship of New Jersey. And I can promise you, they told me by 2020, they want me to grow this to $50 million. I said, I can't grow anything, right? I can't grow a weed in my garden. But I know one thing, everybody in this room can grow it. So I put a challenge on myself, and I went to Joe, and I said, Joe, 50 million just doesn't seem like enough. He goes, what do you think? 
and we both said it at the same time, we're like 60 million plus. By 2020, this division will be doing 60 million plus, and we're going to have another division that we're running, and they're going to be doing even more. Welcome to New Jersey. We're going to paint this town gold. Are you guys oh, yeah. ready to paint this town gold? Awesome. So, it, it's coming. It's real. So we're going to expand again. More opportunity. Um, I, who touched? Sharp touched on drive time. A lot of guys up north are going to have a big opportunity to be able to go in, show them how we do things, right, and be able to train some people. It's more opportunity for you guys, and, and you're actually going to have a better commute to work every day. We know that it's tough t driving up there. It's not just the mileage. It's the window time. You're sitting there in traffic. I had the pleasure of going up to, I don't even know where the hell it was, past Passaic one day not that long ago. It was the worst thing I ever had to do. I'd rather go, go jog or something, you know, up there. So, uh, is Kylie here? Real quick, Kylie, where's Kylie at? Back there? So Kylie and me and her dad, just so you guys know, we're going to be running 18 miles on Sunday in the LBI Marathon. My, my first date got a little, yeah. So we're really doing it for the drinks after though, right? So, so all right, so last thing, how do we do, how do we do this? and take it to the next level, right? So one of the things we've been strategizing on in the back, and um, a couple people are privy to this already, what's happening, was we needed to do something to smack the shit out of our competition, and which at the end of the day, when we're done, there is not gonna be any competition, we know that. So, but what we needed to do was smack the competition, and then just get a fresh look, okay? So I was on a call yesterday and we talked about this very thing and, and they're, they were worried about me. I said, well, I'll be all right. I think everybody's gonna embrace this. But at the end of the day, um, we needed to do something big, okay? So what we looked at was, was rebranding, okay? A company should rebrand. We've been through, we started out with a brown truck with Rob and Mike, remember those pictures, right? Then they went to a white truck with some little swoop and like this big gold medal emblem. Then they started the, um, the gold medal you see on the front facade with the Olympic, like the four rings, right? And then you've seen what we have behind here. Well, I'm proud to announce we're gonna be changing the brand again. But what I'm most proud of, when you go through a brand change, it's a big thing and it's something that's permanent for a long time. And like I said up here last time I stood, I told you everything's staying gold medal, and we're going to have gold, and that's it, right? And I promise you that, and I can tell you right now, that's what it's going to be again today, okay, and into the future. So what we got now is um, we're going to show you a picture. This is the future of our brand, and this is what's coming out before the end of this month. So there's our bus. <laughs> So it's a little different, first time I saw it, right? A little bit of a shock. But if you look at it, the way that we're gonna do things, it's, it's loud, but it's a little softer, easier to read, and know who we are, all right? Let's see, do you have a billboard? There's our billboard. What was the last one? The logo? Yeah, there you go. So there it is. All right, you gotta digest it a little bit, but I'm asking you, like I said, I'm, I'm committed to you guys. I know your level of commitment to gold medal is stronger than anybody's commitment to any other company, and I, I want you to follow me, and I want you to trust me in this, all right? We're gonna grow, and we're gonna be like none other. And when he says that we're gonna be the, the top branch, we're not looking to be the top branch in the company. I wanna be the biggest branch in the country that when I go to these different events and all, they look up at us like, damn, what the hell are you doing, man? All right? And Sun Capital, he talked about the executive call. Sun Capital only knows a couple things. You gotta treat people good, and they wanna make money, okay? This is their epicenter of their money. I was told that, and this is gonna be the biggest growth. We will blow away any kind of Horizon branch, because I'll tell you why. They're sharing their knowledge with us, this is the place that has the most passion, okay? You guys got the passion, and I promise you, I had the passion. 
and nobody's going to beat that and that's what takes it to the next level. It's the passion in each one of your hearts that makes you what you are and if you succeed and you have a place to succeed in, then this place will succeed and that's the only way. All right? But we're going to put little tools in place to make it better and easier for you. And I look, yeah. Do you want what? The shirts, we're gonna show the shirts. So we got you gifts. Okay, thank you for reminding me. I was going, I like to talk sometimes, right? All right, so here's what I'd like you to do. I'm asking you to follow me. Do you wanna show them? We have them on. Oh, you have them on? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Oh, they're gonna, I can't say that. I was gonna say we're gonna show Thank you, I can't say that. Go ahead. All right. And turn around. And our theme, and our new theme, go ahead. So you're gonna hear you're gonna hear the word stronger every day, every day stronger. If you guys aren't getting stronger and you need something, you come to me. All right, I'm gonna put you in with Siobhan at 4:30 in the gym every day if we need to. Okay. All right. So with that said, I'm asking you to follow me out. We're gonna go see a new truck. All right. Come on. Thank you, brother. Hey, how are you? Joe, thanks again for coming so early and everything. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. I hear a lot of good things about your company, so I appreciate everything. What do you guys think? It's awesome, right? So these are more support vehicles. The big, the, the big vehicles are coming, so... We're gonna be, yeah. Yep. <laughs> we're looking, we're bringing in two different models that we're gonna let people try out first. No. So guys, these, real quick, if I could have your attention. These are two support vehicles. So this is not a full-blown technician truck. So they're coming. We wanted to wait till we had this and had it dialed in. Um, and then we're gonna start replacing the trucks out that are old with bigger um, style trucks that match the, that what we're used to. So, and then I have another prototype truck that's something modeled after what Horizon uses that I'm gonna have brought into the fleet. And then I'm gonna have a couple different guys test it out. And then we're gonna see if that kind of truck might work better. If not, we're gonna stay with the large sprinter. So, so nothing's gonna change until we, got, we know you guys like it and it's practical for you guys to do. But again, we can't do anything without supporting you guys. So first ones we came in, you seen the pickup truck and all. This is here. Then we got a delivery truck coming too where we're gonna be able to deliver equipment and all and get installers the jobs faster. And we're actually piloting a program where installers will be able to take a vehicle home. So that'll be really good for you guys. So listen, we have t-shirts here, we got water bottles. So make sure before you leave to see Nicole and Sarah in the back here get some more food. Um, Greg's here for a little while today. We're gonna be asking a few people to hang back. Um, other than that, listen, I hope I hope I made everything pretty clear for you guys and, and I love you, man, and thank you for giving me the chance. I'm gonna fight and fight and fucking fight like I never fought before to make this thing work, all right? Appreciate it, guys. All right, Joe!